Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explaining about centrifugal casting process with the detailed study on true centrifugal casting process. So let us start with the, some of the introduction about centrifugal castings. So just you can see into the setup. Here that will be the drive shaft. So drive shaft which will be connected with the two rollers. So which will be having a equal diameters. So this roller number one and this one is roller number two. So this is our mold or you can say in the case of centrifugal casting process, we are using revolving mold or you can say hollow mold. So this hollow mold which will be supported onto a driving rollers and another end with the help of ladle pouring a molten form of the metals into that. So by the applications of this drive shaft, it will be connected with the rollers and rollers are rotating. So just you can see into another figure, this is our roller number one, which will be rotating into clockwise directions. Another roller, which will be also rotating into a clockwise directions. So one of the roller that will be the drive roller. Second roller, it will be free rollers. So this roller number one, that will be connected with a drive shaft. So you can easily controlling the speed of that particular rollers. And just you can see onto that drive roller, free roller. So this mold, it will be supporting onto that. So by the application of the driving shaft, this roller, it will be rotating. And by the rotation of these two rollers, one is drive roller and another one is free roller. So this mold, it will be also revolving or you can say rotating. So basically both the rollers are rotating into clockwise directions and by this clockwise movement, this mode, it will be rotating into anti-clockwise directions. So let us start what happens into a centrifugal casting process. So centrifugal casting is a process in which the molten metal is poured and allowed to solidify in a revolving mold. So by the application of the ladle molten form of the metals, it will be pouring. So by the rotation, it will be generating a centrifugal force. So due to that centrifugal force, our molten form of the metals, it will be around the periphery of that particular hollow mold and it will be allowed to solidify. So you can get a hollow cast product. The centrifugal force due to the revolving mold holds the molten metal against the mold wall until it solidified. So hold the process of the solidification process, it will be into a hollow mold. The material used for preparing molds may be cast iron, steel, sand or graphite. So basically for non-ferrous kind of castings. The process is used for making castings of hollow cylindrical See, so this is a unique applications of centrifugal casting process. The various centrifugal casting techniques includes true centrifugal casting, second semi centrifugal casting and third centrifuge casting process. So in this video, I explain with the detail onto a true centrifugal casting process. So in case of the true centrifugal casting process, just you can see this is our shaft and this metallic mold, it will be connected and by the applications of that ladle and this one is our pouring basin. So from this, our molten form of the metals, it will be entering into a hollow mold and by the rotation of the shaft, so hold the metallic mold, it will be also rotated. So due to the centrifugal force, after some time, our molten form of the metals that will be solidified. So here from both the ends, it will be the solidification process. So in true centrifugal casting is used to produce parts that are symmetrical about axis like that of the pipes, tubes, bushing, liners and rings. So these all are the applications of the true centrifugal casting processes. The outside shape of the castings can be round, it will be octagonal, 
hexagonal, etc. It may be possible, depends upon my requirements. But inside shape is perfectly round due to the radially symmetrical forces or you can say centrifugal forces. Then this eliminates the need for cores for producing hollow castings. So there will be the no core is being used for making a hollow casting process. So with the application of centrifugal force, it will be make a hollow castings. So in this process, it will be totally eliminating the core and core making processes. So figure shows the centrifugal casting process. So various steps that will be involving for this process and that will be the mold of desired shape is prepared with metal and the walls are coated with a refractory ceramic coatings. Then and then you can also get good accurate and precise work. The mold is rotated about its axis at high speed with the range of 300 to 3000 rpm. A measured quantity of the molten metal is poured into the rotating mold. Says from my requirement of the shape and size as well as the thickness of our job, I would like to add such kind of quantity of molten form of the metal. The centrifugal force of the rotating molds throws the liquid metal towards the mold walls and holds the metal until it solidified. So total solidification process it will be occurs into a this metallic mold during the rotating condition. The casting cools and solidified from its outer surface towards the axis of the rotations of the mold thereby promoting directional solidification process. So that is a very important point in case of the any casting process you have to controlling the directional solidification process. So generally it will be starting from the outside to the your axis of your rotating mold. The thickness of the castings obtained can be controlled by the amount of liquid metal is being poured. So that will be calculated part. You have to calculate which kind of volume of the material is required for our required thickness. Then an inherent quantity of true centrifugal castings is based on to the fact that the non-metallic impurities in castings being less dense than the metal are forced towards the inner surfaces of the castings due to the centrifugal forces. So these impurities can be machined later by the suitable machining process. So you can also use a boring operations for removing such kind of impurities it will be present into that surface area. The mold may be rotated horizontally or vertically that will be depends upon my requirements. When the mold is rotated about horizontal axis a true centrifugal inside the surface is produced if rotated onto a vertical axis. So the parabolic inside surface is being produced. So that will be depends upon my requirements. Cores and getting risering systems are not required for this process. So that will be totally eliminating the that traditional casting process for making a hollow cast job. Some of the advantages of true centrifugal casting process and that will be eliminates mid wall defects. Centrifugal casting controls the impurities. Centrifugal castings greatly reduce micro porosity during the casting process or you can say during the solidification process. Now some of the disadvantages, land to diameter ratio and cost, shape and mold die cost. So that will be increasing the cost of your centrifugal casting process. Small inside diameters, safety and cost. So due to that all advantages of that true centrifugal casting process which will be increasing the cost of our products. Good foundry practice required, so skill operator is also required. So I hope you understand this. If you like this, then subscribe and share Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. Thank you.
सो मच एंड कीप वॉचिंग